Thank you for joining us in this multi-part series, How to Read a Crochet Pattern. Before we get started, please hop on over to our blog. Make sure to subscribe and definitely follow along the How to Read a Crochet Pattern series. It is more detailed than the video. And if you're viewing this from our blog, go to our YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe. There you'll find all kinds of tutorials, yarn reviews, and exclusive products. To follow along, make sure to go to our website and download the free crochet dishcloth pattern. There is a crochet version and a knit version, so make sure that you select the correct one. You'll find the link to this pattern in the description of the YouTube video and in the blog post. On the first page of every Mary Maxim pattern, you'll find the name. This pattern is named Crochet Dish Claws. You'll find the pattern number. This pattern number is FP9951. That is searchable on our website. You'll also find the size of the finished piece and the difficulty level. On current Mary Maxim patterns, you will see a shopping list. This is where you will find the yarn and hook information required to complete the pattern. Your shopping list may also include items required but not included in the Mary Maxim kit, or items that were included but are non-yarn items, such as buttons. This pattern requires a H8 or 5mm hook, or any size needed for gauge. That is very important because you may have to change the size of your hook later on to achieve gauge. The next thing you'll see is size information. It's a finished size. Um, this is very important, especially if you are making a garment or an afghan or blanket. You want to make sure that the size fits your needs. After that, you'll see gauge information. We talked about that previously. This will show you how to achieve your gauge or where the gauge was measured. So again, it is a suggested hook or any hook which will give you the correct gauge. Um, if you follow along in the next video, you'll see where we needed to change our hook to achieve the gauge. On every Mary Maxim pattern, you will find a version of our current stitch guide. This guide gives you basic abbreviations and names of each stitch found in the pattern. You may also find special stitch combinations with instructions on how to complete the stitch, as well as notes about the pattern. I recommend that you read the instructions from start to finish before you pick up your hook. If you have any questions on the instructions or run into any kind of difficulty, we are available Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time for project assistance. At the bottom of every Mary Maxim pattern, you'll see our copyright, and you'll also see that we have made every effort to make sure that all of our patterns are correct. And if there are any corrections, they are available on our website. Don't miss the next part of this series. In the next video, we're going to work together row by row on the striped dishcloth. Make sure to click the links down below and subscribe to all of our social media profiles. Happy crafting!